Hello friends, so in the last video we already discussed about what is a stochastic gradient descent and how you can use for uh, linear regression to find the best parameters for the slope and the intercept for the linear regression. But you can use in general for stochastic gradient descent for optimization for the minimization of any algorithm. Uh, we already discussed what is cost function. So cost function is for the linear regression. This is this one and it is a function of y i predicted and the predicted y value is a function of slope and intercept. So it is a function of two variables slope and intercept. So if you want to find the cost function at a given point of time, say this is the cost function and this is the parameter and we are initially we randomly choose any value for the parameters. Let's say we are at this point. Once we know that the random value of slope and the intercept, we can put the values here in the y hat, uh, y prediction, because we know the y prediction is, we start from here, y predicted is equal to slope times x plus c. So x are the x values and m is the slope, which we randomly chose an initial value and the c is the intercept. So this is how the initial random predicted values of y we get and we already know the actual values of y we just subtract them actual values minus predicted square them and add all the data points errors and divide by the number of observations number of data points this is how you get the at the first iteration you get the cost function value but that we want to minimize as we move ahead in the iterations. First iteration, second iteration, that is also called epochs. So now let's go to the coding part. So we will, we are defining a function which will, uh, with the name LR, we are feeding in X and Y. That is the data, X and Y is the data. Given X, what are the value of Y? We feed in uh the random value of slope m and random value of c we give some learning rate that you can choose uh, how fast and uh, the algorithm should learn that shouldn't be very high shouldn't be very low that depends on what is high what is low and in your case and the data so you have to uh, try it out so epoch number of times you want to uh, run this iteration that is the stochastic gradient descent how many times you want to run it before it reaches at the minimum so if you do not run it sufficiently maybe it end up here and maybe if you run it many number of times it may not end up here it may go somewhere else so you have to optimize that n is the number of observation that you can just float length of y and for i in range of epoch that means we are saying that for each iteration so it is looping over the iteration so the first iteration second iteration what will happen so first iteration we want the y y predicted y actually is y y predicted is y nu m nu x plus c but that is mx plus c we once we know the y predicted we can find the cost function cost function is this one y minus y nu and for each data point, we square them, add them, and divide by the number of observations. Then we get the gradient for C, then we get the gradient of M. We already know the formula for the gradient of C and M here. Y minus Y predicted, divided by N and two. That is just the derivative of this cost function with respect to slope and intercept. This is for slope and this is for intercept. You get the grade for M and C. Once you get the grad, you can find the new M by old M minus learning rate times the gradient. Similarly for C, old, old that means the C new that keeps on updating. So this is the initial value we feed in and that just keeps on iterating as the, as we iterate it for the second epoch, third epoch and so on. The M new keeps on changing. And as M new and C new changes, we the line also keeps on changing m x plus c so m new changes c new changes the line will change and we want to visualize we just added these three lines and we already added this pause just to visualize uh, that how as the epoch changes how this uh, looks like so i will show you that how it looks like i will restart it because i have somewhere written in line so Let's start from here. I will remove this because 
I want to see you show you the dynamic visualization in the real time how this gradient descent is working in the real time. So let's click X and Y. And we know X, Y and just run this function. What is it uh, returning is M, C and cost. Okay. That is the up, uh, after all the iterations, it will return the updated values. So we will just run X is equal to X, Y is equal to Y, which we were just defined there. And M new zero, that is the initial values. We can choose anything. Learning rate, we just chose 0 0.04 and epoch just for 10 observations, uh, 10 iterations, we want to run this stochastic gradient descent. And we will look in the dynamic visualization how the line is trying to move towards the best fit for the data we have. So it's quite cool. Let's see. As you can see, it is trying to come towards the data cloud. 